Well, guys, I can already see who it's been a good playoffs game. It's gonna be Rockets against uh, the Golden State. <laughs> Look at those wins. They're second. We're sixth. Who's third? I wonder. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to 2K Sports. I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. In this game, we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder against the Houston Rockets. Houston has to feel pretty happy about their recent play. A strong stretch of play for this team, winning six of their last seven. They're playing at a high level, no lack of confidence going into tonight's game. And last season, we saw James Harden take on the role of acting point guard for his team. Even with the switch, he continued to pour in the points. But the real story, the assist, man, why was that move so good? Well, Harden has always been a ball-dominant point guard, you know. Uh, I just think he's an underrated passer, but he's always been a great distributor. Now he's just doing it more. He's trying to average that triple dunk. All right, guys, let's do this. Make let's make some baskets. We can do this. We'll make some win. We'll, it'll take us two seconds to win, all right, guys. Put so much fruit to play. <laughs> we'll make three pointers like they're nothing. I want to try three pointers, but I feel like I'm going to miss. Even though my sets are pretty good for three pointers. I just feel like I'm going to miss every time. I just feel like getting maxed out before you try even. Because if I could just make them every time, it'd be awesome. Like, if I could just run up here and be like, ooh, every time, I'd be happy. Yeah, then the game doesn't like me. Because I'm not getting the best, uh, what's it called, stuff. Oklahoma City left, and David. Well, thanks. Is, He's a great huh. passer, David. There's no doubt he can set the table. Clark, all players, all coaches talk about the difference of the speed and the intensity of the regular season compared to the... And okay, Oklahoma City going good. with a whole new group out there. And then for Houston, Nene, he's checked in for Clint Capella. P.J. Tucker comes in for Ryan Anderson. And Gordon mm -hmm. subbed in for Trevor Ariza. And so in the game for the Rockets. The two pillars of this team, Chris Paul and Harden, are the one and the two. Damn. Gordon is out there with P.J. Tucker. Then it's Nene in at the center. Look at the intensity of Nene, one of the strongest guys in the game. Phenomenal at scoring the ball inside. Ooh. Someone keeps slamming doors downstairs. Nine feet out. No good. Shot missing. Harden with the defensive effort. This one for three. Hits it from three-point range. Dang it. Harden's got ten. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. Yeah, and the execution, time and time again, right on point. They're running their offense to perfection. Canter, and he drops yeah. it away up off the glass. You gotta respect how Can't attentive to detail Wells is. I mean, he's excellent at feeling when one of his guys has a clean look. Ah. Paul against Felton. Back to Paul. Houston moving it around. The shot by Nene, no good. I can't explain what happened there, Kevin. I mean, he had the layup. Looked like it was a simple play. Somehow the defense threw him off. Oh, oh. man. Starting to surge here, and, and we're only in the first quarter. That was bad. Yeah, and they've come out strong. I mean, clearly, they've been the better team so far. That Unleash Chaos Under Armour replay the really heck? giving us a good look at the action. Paul, no one around him. And off the front iron, and in it goes. Whenever CP3 gets his hands on the ball, you know he's going to turn it up court right away. He loves initiating the break. DJ with it, picked up by Nene. From deep, Oklahoma City the rebound. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Wells passes to DJ. Cantor. And yeah. Cantor able to finish. 
Nice tip in there. I mean, he's got like a sixth sense in terms of where the miss is going to go. That is really a talent. Nene with the screen on Grant. Now here's Gordon. Two on the clock. And the officials call over the back a little too aggressive there. Yeah, good. And so it's Houston with their lead. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break. 35 lead. It's been horrible. Here we go now. The start of the third quarter. Welcoming you back in a closely contested first this half so far. Houston making some changes. Oh, why you put Bob me in? Montes I don't know in for Anderson. Oh, we're PJ winning. Tucker okay, yeah. comes in for Trevor Ariza. And Gordon subbed in for Paul. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Thunder. When you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough Dang. to stop the hot shooters. Exactly, Kevin. They were lethal from deep. And when it's all said and done here, this will mark their 38th W on the year. And, and they've taken control of the season series. This brings them to 2-0 and oh with one game left against this squad. And believe you me, they'll be gunning for the sweep in that third meeting. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for George. Just an outpouring of points from yeah. him. Nobody could do much to keep him like a, from dropping uh, it. So on the floor for you, Harden and Gordon teaming up in the backcourt. Luke yeah. Mamamute out there with P.J. Tucker. And points. it's Capella Sweet. in at the five spot. Love how hard Get back up he did work. So I'm not losing Much respect for his skill set and his basketball IQ. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. No. Getting bad with the he ball. He the Felton. Now, DJ can't oh. cash in from close range. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. Football team by far tonight. And you got to come in this the sort Thunder of one. Rebound three. <laughs> All right, guys. Time to go get some, the Phoenix Suns again. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to 2K Sports. I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. And Oklahoma City is where we'll be going just moments from now as the Thunder will be going up against the Phoenix Suns. And guys, for the Suns, they've had a tough time over the last few weeks. Three and seven in their last ten games. We'll see if they can make amends tonight. And tonight, get ready for some highlights. Two lightning-quick, high-flying clubs. Kenny, when you have teams as athletic as these, how can one side carve out an advantage? Poise. Mm. That's it. You want to be athletic, but you also want to be level-headed. You got to have a combination of the two. You got to execute your plays, and you just don't rely. All right, guys. Let's do this. We all. Damn. It's gonna go in. I'm gonna get the green. Whoa, didn't get it. What's up, D? DJ, what's wrong, man? Man, I can't take this anymore, man. The guys are putting me through the ringer. 
Sammy's got me over there wearing a kid's backpack, getting him loads of candy, donuts, cleaning his shoes. I mean, I can't take it anymore, bro. Everybody has to do it, bro. You're a rookie. That's ridiculous, man. How long, man? Until the end of the season. You're going to be a rookie all year, so just get used to it, man. Do what they say. Don't give them a hard time. Man, when I get my rookie, I'm never going to put him through what they put me through. You say that now. We'll see. All right, man. I'll see you out there. All right, bro. <laughs> Oklahoma City land of the and Okay guys, well thanks David. Well the season's tonight, over. Tonight, two teams so that like rookie. to score out of so half court long. sets. And Brent on that subject, we often talk about the playoffs coming down to great half court execution. Oh. And Oklahoma City going with a whole new group out there. So for the Suns. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. And Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. They've got Brandon Knight playing out there with Jones. Then there's Bender, and it's Euless in at the point. Glenn, a screen. Euless dishes to Knight. And the go-ahead bucket, yeah. no good. The Thunder with the lead. And it's Grant in the corner. Inside. It's hauled no. in by the Suns. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. Playing on the road, always a challenge, but it becomes a heck of a lot easier when you can shoot the three ball the way they did. I just like their confidence. Even when they did miss, it felt like that's the shot they yeah. were designing to get, so it never seemed to phase them. They make they give a ton of credit to the to screener it. there. That was a perfect pick to give his teammate the space to knock down the shot. Stolen no. by Bender. Here's Euless, and some very quick points for him on that possession. Euless has got his second bucket of the game to go. And you gotta love the unselfish play of Bender. When he oh, sees wow, a teammate really. wide open, he does not hesitate at all to whip the ball oh, off. Oh, what just happened there? And a bit of a bittersweet it's question for you, Brent. We know you spent so many years with the Sonics who eventually were uprooted and became this Thunder team. How badly would you like to see Seattle get a basketball team again? I think it's the NBA's mission to get back to Seattle and under Adam Silver he's asked questions about the return to the Emerald City and I, I think it's wow. going to happen Kevin if it she does I'd that. love to be a part of what the organization does up there I do miss the PNW that's the Pacific Northwest kicks it to you screen by Jones you passes to Bender nail no. from three point land and not only is Bender physically imposing down low, he also can stretch the floor make it. with his perimeter shooting. He's lethal from deep. Wells' shot is good. Oh, a little punch, counter punch action. Neither side can't. flinching here. Yeah, both sides trying to keep up with one another, but doing it from distance. One kick kicks to Ewis. Here's Bender. They grab their own miss. Now, here's Felton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And there's oh, the foul wow. on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the foul against Phoenix. And that's the result that you're going to yeah. get when you drive into the lane before the D can get themselves into position. And DJ's not waiting around. He's on his way to the free throw line. He was able to tie it up, but he has to be disappointed that he could not give his team the lead. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Not the bad it is. If we get the play. And Tyson Chandler, known for being a great teammate, a very vocal leader, certainly. He talked about how important that is for an NBA locker room. Gotta get the line. Players do the police. And so it's the Oklahoma Ooh, City Thunder play. controlling the game. And I want to get the 100 points. I barely ever get the 100 points. I the last game gets them? Not 100% sure. And a new group getting ready for Oklahoma Ooh. City. DJ is checked in for Adams. Cantor comes in for Patrick Patterson. Grant, he's checked in for George. And Wells is subbed in for Andre mm -hmm. Robertson. And then for Phoenix, Williams comes in for Chandler. And Eula is subbed in for Warren. Russell Westbrook out there with Wells. Then there's Grant. Oh, man, then it's Ennis Cantor. And it's DJ in at the five down low. 
That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. Here's Westbrook. Chris with the rebound. Yeah, tonight his shot's been a bit off, but still, they lead the game. And Brent, when you hear Donovan on the sideline or in the huddle, it's clear how big a motivator he can be for his team. He, he certainly gets the most out of his players from the stars to the end of the bench. One thing that Billy Donovan did in the early part of taking the job with the Oklahoma City Thunder, and I remember it well, Kevin, I went to the UCLA no campus where okay, Billy got, Donovan had invited most of the roster for the Oklahoma City team, and he started to establish that trust in the offseason, being there for workouts, understanding no, the personalities of his team and getting to know his guys. All of those things have reaped some incredible rewards in the early part of Billy Donovan's coaching career. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. The Suns have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Bloodsoe outside. There's a screen by Chris for three. Booker. Doesn't go for him. Got to get out of his compass and just try to find himself right now and get himself going. DJ kicks to Wells. Here's Cantor. And the foul called on DJ. That's Looks his like first foul. That. One of the game's very best offensive rebounders. Cantor also has the wherewithal to quickly convert for the score. Raymond Felton, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. And then for Phoenix, Lenz checked in for Chris. And Knight subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. The drive by Booker. And Len has it in the corner. What did they actually do that? Like run into him? Booker in the corner. Just now. Out no. tonight. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Euless. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Len a screen. Euless dishes to Booker. Just five on the clock. Knight in the corner. Good. And a nice assist Dang. from Booker. And that's 10 points for Brandon Knight. Well, Knight confident shooting it off oh, the pass. Yeah. And so it's Oklahoma City holding a very comfortable 25 point lead as the quarter comes to. Please don't tell me they won. Let's take a listen to a recent huddle from Coach Billy Donovan. And do stuff good in this game. Exert yourself by being. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. The Sun shooting from the field, 44%, not bad. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. Setting the floor for the Suns. Jones is out there with Bender. Then it's Reed. Then there's Brandon Knight. And it's Len in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Count that bucket. Defensively, you cause the miss, but then you have to corral it. Well, that's the second part of the equation there. Block out, be aggressive, and control the glass. Abrinas, the pass to DJ. Back to Abrinas. Passes it to DJ. Stolen by Dang Lane. Let's drop the pass that. Four on three break. Jones kicks to Knight. Over the decades, the way the league has grown, phenomenal. Doing no small part to the leadership. Brent, what are some of the key traits you've seen of these two great NBA commissions? I, I think the, the one thing about both David Stern and Adam Silver that they have done a great job with is that they're approachable. There, yeah. there doesn't seem to be a time, at least in an NBA player's career, where they don't feel like they could either call the office and within yeah. maybe a day or two hear from somebody from the league office but the fact that both david stern and adam silver find their way out to arenas throughout the regular season come to see every team that approachability points. i think far and away sets those two gentlemen aside six on the shot clock so many great point guards in the league right now, guys, who can do much more than just facilitate Brent. Oh, How has that position in your mind evolved over the years? I think watching these point guards play, Kevin, and their ability to score the basketball has been remarkable. There, there have been guys throughout the history of the league that have been tremendous scorers at the point guard position, but now no, the there, emphasis on three-point shooting and Did less about point guards traditional role of setting up the rest of the team Make that's why you're seeing the... such dynamic play from I wasn't trying to block anything. and the shot by Warren no Damn. good 
Oklahoma City's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Dishes it to George. To the paint. Uses the glass yeah. to finish the layup. And it's seven points for DJ. Clear contact as DJ's on his way up. Surprised he doesn't get the and one opportunity to go along with that basket, but that was wicked, wicked fresh. <laughs> I like that. Nicely done, Brent. Nicely done. Oh, no. Brent, the NBA How has a new CBA, no, a collective bargaining agreement. How big a win is this for everyone involved? I don't think the league has been in a better situation than it is right now, Kevin. And for the fact that labor discussions all took place behind closed doors without anything sneaking out underneath them, I think it was great for the league. It's been great for Adam Silver. It's been great for the Players Association. So it's nice to see the train keep rolling. What the heck was that? Back to George. Whoa, whoa, that was bad. Fast break, here we go. Here's Eulis. All on the play, basket count, so it'll be a three-point play chance. And that's what you want in transition, a high percentage opportunity. Uh, the story is true, and here the defense does a very poor job of matching up. And Oklahoma City making a change here. McDermott's checked in. Bender, he's checked in for Phoenix. Jones comes in for Warren. Felton dishes to DJ. And so he earns a trip foul. to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, going to work on the inside now and causing all sorts of problems. DJ's not afraid to get physical on the low block. You know, Brent, the one thing we've mm -hmm. seen from Coach Earl Watson is that he has a very good working relationship with his roster. His players have always said they have the trust of their coach. Well, that's the key buzzword for what it is that Earl Watson wants to do with this young ball club is that he wants to grow as they grow. And he wants to know that at all times Earl Watson has their back. He wants them to have the kind of success in the league that is going to afford them everything that they want. And he never shies away about talking about those Dang things. It. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just, just the ball. a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Oklahoma City. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was so just easily. on target. And this will push their record to 39 wins and a good effort tonight. They were really smart in the use of this that game plan so tonight. Much. Used it in their first two games against this team which equal to two wins. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this ball one, it was a dazzling game for Paul up. George. Well, he could not Let's be stopped on offense. Super it's efficient cold. tonight. It wasn't a lot the defense could do. Now, now here's Wells. Reed covering. Wells' shot is good. Yeah. And this is how Sweetness. you close yeah. out a game, not taking any chances. Yeah, you got to be relentless in this game or the tide can turn on you. Not here, not tonight. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Reed kicks to Jones. Buries it from three-point range. Well, Chandler will give up his body, does a good job not moving when he's setting picks. Felton against Knight. There's the dish to Wells. Now DJ... So no problem for Oklahoma me. City as they get the win. It was a tale of two. Hey, I almost was close to not losing this one. Oh, good screens times five. Ooh, screens get a lot of XP. Just spam those with the whole game. Every single game just spam screens. And flow from their perspective. And that'll do it, folks. That's team ball, boys. I can't believe we were up that much. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have minded some more minutes, you know, work that offhand. Hey, we worked that in practice. We need to get everybody some minutes, especially in a game like this. With that <laughs> lead, we could have had Boo Boo running the point. What you got, Boo? Oh, come on, like come that. on, come on. What you got? What? Oh, okay, Boo Boo. Boo, -boo. <laughs> and that is how you end a lesson, fellas. Watch and learn. <laughs> <laughs> Boy got skill. Boy crazy.
Alright guys. Let's go against the Spurs. <laughs> they're doing pretty good. We did for the the Rockets, but they're just it's so the 2K so Sports pregame show. Hey, Ernie Johnson here, and I'm joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. And Oklahoma City is where we'll be going just moments from now as the Thunder will be going up against the San Antonio Spurs. Well, for San Antonio, playing above 500 in the last few weeks, not bad. They'd like to do better. We'll see if they can add a win tonight. And guys, when people talk about the Spurs, they talk about consistency from the front office to the coaching staff to the effort on the floor. Take a guy like LaMarcus Aldridge. He embodies that, doesn't he, Kenny? Yes, he does. He's got great scoring. He's got great footwork in the block. The art of the mid-range jump shot is still there, but he can pick and pop and pick and roll, Shaq. You know, he always finds a way to impact the game with his shot. All right. Let's do this. Come on, let's do this. And roll. Let's win a game. Ugh. I'm about ready to get myself burnt out in this game, I think. Yeah. But then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm addicted to it. Yeah. It's gonna take me forever to get the 99 overall. I'm pumped, boy. Yeah. Come on, man. There ain't nothing to be so pumped about. What do you mean? We are favored to win it all this year, bro. Did you think that'd be us? I think that every year. Man, newsflash, y'all. Not everyone thinks so. Well, who's everyone? Everyone's everyone, man. Well, who's saying we favors well, who cares then? who, all who right? Who cares? Who cares what? Yes, yeah, Shad, we cares? know it. We believe it. I believe it. So let's do it. Man, DJ, Come you gotta on, spit Dad. on my cheek, man. You talking too passionate. But hey, what y'all think, though? Everyone's everyone. That sound good, though, right? Oh, I like that. Like, maybe like a lower back tattoo or something? Ooh. Maybe like a bumper sticker? What do you think? Or yeah. should it be everyone's no one till they somebody like who? No, that's you? too much. All right, guys, let's do this. Now we're actually getting cutscenes again. Good. It's getting to it towards the end. We had like a little cutscene break. I like cutscenes. A boo boo bag. Had this game for two weeks yeah, on Friday. I already have so many hours in it. I don't like this game. Pretty hard. Oop. I just keep, keep getting the moment where I just keep wanting to dunk the ball. Oklahoma City land of the thunder in a fine Western Conference battle here at the Chesapeake Energy Arena. And get ready for another. We are new. Look, Let's and they this. need him to be that way, DA. Thank you. Especially after Tim Duncan's retirement and Manu and TP getting older. Uh, this is Kawhi's team now for sure. And with both these teams, Steve, in the playoff picture, you know that this game will feel a different look for Oklahoma City. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Cantor. DJ comes in for Patrick Patterson. And Wells is subbed in for Roberson. San Antonio also making some changes. Anderson, he's checked in for Aldridge. Ginobili comes in for no, Green. No, he did what Parker I always have for Patty Mills. Oh! Yes. yes. Well, we know Leonard's an elite two-way machine, but there he shows us the artistry. And that was Under Armour bringing you that replay. Unleash chaos. Well, no. What a play it was. Here's Parker. It's the front of the rim and out. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. 14 feet away. Second chance shot. And sticking right with it gets the foul with the bucket, and he'll go to the line. Fantastic positioning on that offensive board. Then right back up. Grant, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Yeah. Felton comes in for Russell Westbrook. Laverne, he's checked in for the Spurs. Murray comes in for Kawhi Leonard. There's the screen. Out to the right wing. 
Laverne with the ball. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Three on the clock. It's Parker outside. Another miss by Parker. Oklahoma City leading by three. Grant. Here's Felton. And he makes the bucket. Yeah. Drew Konjek and gets the whistle too. How about that? For San Antonio, they've gone four of six in the field here in the second. On the court right now for the Spurs. Filling out the wings, it's Green and Leonard. Anderson is out there with Pau Gasol. And it's Mills in at the one. Jacks up a three. That's good. Dang and it's it. Leonard with the assist. Ties this up. Mills has got it all tied up now. Well, I'm going to make some points, man. All West day, day do your Mills will do this for you. Lightning quick on the catch and release. The Spurs, a top seven offensive team for the last seven seasons. Their passing oh, and perimeter it. shooting is what really sets them apart. Here's Leonard, and it's Leonard with the jam. Of One course. of the more physical wings in the league. Kawhi gets smacked there, but not to be denied. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, guys, Kawhi Leonard no, has Anderson, a no. scorer, but his focus still starts at the defensive end. He said, my mindset is the same every game. Whoever okay, I'm after, playing against, three, three, I go in and try to stop again. their best scorer so and then ball. try to get myself going on the offensive end. Kevin? And David, so that's nice. what you get with it. Kawhi. Mr. Consistency, one of the best two-way players in the game. And looking oh, out the four yeah. areas where shots can come from, the paint, mid-range, and shots from deep all broken down for Oklahoma City. And not a lot of teams can be successful with a focus on the mid-range game. But, but these guys make that a focal point of their offense. A lot of their scoring opportunities this season oh, 10 to 20 feet out. And it's interesting. I'm I think the up. one thing you need to drive improvement is a desire to be among the best. I think DJ has that. Leonard, that's for two. Up again. No. Controls the rebound. I can't do anything about that giant dunk he just did. And the Spurs lead by three. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. And here's George for three. And the officials call over the back a little too aggressive there. Yeah, I mean, the way he's climbing all over him on that. that one, no way the officials are going to miss that. Yeah, he needed a ladder there. Terrible judgment. At the oh, that was a so it's a close game just, as we wrap up. Myself. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back. Yeah, that was pretty on accident. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. So it's Oklahoma Ooh. City. Yeah, we the did. Win. It. They didn't make it the easy on them. foul right there. We got like nothing. Oh, we did. For that stick to itiveness in terms of. Do we win?